But first, once again, record COVID-19 cases in Illinois. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Rebecca Brumfield. Our Annie Kate joins us live in studio now to show us how the governor addressed the public today, offering advice to mitigate cases and pleading the public to get vaccinated. Annie. Rebecca, Governor Pritzker staring, starting his press conference with optimism, saying 19 million vaccines are in the arms of Illinoisans and about 90% of senior citizens are vaccinated. His tone quickly shifted when speaking on the Omicron variant, saying the state is at an all-time record number of COVID-19 cases and surging hospitalizations. Governor J.B. Pritzker pleading with the public Monday, get vaccinated as the state faces a record high number of COVID-19 cases and surging hospitalizations. It is frustrating and tragic that two years into the pandemic with multiple widely available and free life-saving vaccines that we are once again in this horrible position. Pritzker saying 85% of hospital beds, 95% of ICU beds, and nearly 100% of ventilators in the state are occupied by unvaccinated patients. People not taking advantage of something that could save their lives. And they're also not helping prevent the potential death of someone whom they may unknowingly spread it to. Dr. Ngazi Azike, director of the Illinois Department of Public Health, saying the state averages 550 new COVID patients admitted to hospitals every day and 90% of those people unvaccinated. I'm asking for your help in this new year 2022. Another plea coming from AJ Wilhelmi, president and CEO of the Illinois Health and Hospitals Association. It's been a long road for everyone but especially the hospital community. Wilhelmi saying it's imperative to acknowledge the efforts of healthcare workers and also to preserve the integrity of our healthcare infrastructure. Governor Pritzker says the state will ramp up staffing and resources for community-based vaccine clinics. Information and requests can be made on the IDPH website. And something else to keep in mind, Dr. Ngazi Azike warns against scammers who may be setting up illegitimate vaccine clinics. She says to ask questions to the staff if there is any uncertainty and the IDPH website lists the location of testing sites. That link can be found right now on CIProud.com. Rebecca, 